Okay folks, we're back home again. We just went for a quick tour um, to do some photocopier art outside of this place in public facilities, libraries, office works and one pharmacy. So we're just going to get stuck in. And also I do believe that reflex copy paper, I'm pretty sure I heard something that they, they that the factory... Um, Broke down, I don't know what happened, and I couldn't get reflex from Office Works. They did have some at Coles, even though they didn't think they had any, but whatever. I've got new a new brand of um, photocopy paper in this machine. However much I prefer reflex, I've always been using reflex for the most part. So yeah, I really miss the reflex, folks. <laughs> I trust it. It's a, it's a well trusted brand here in Aussie land. Sorry about the rhyming. <laughs> silly. I think rhyming sounds a bit silly sometimes, folks. You probably don't mind, really, but anyway, enough of that. Looks like it's pretty well overcast. They say it's going to be thunderstorms today, and someone's got their brolly out. And it looks like it might be starting to finally rain just a little. So I, it didn't look like it this morning. It was really sunny. It just felt like it wasn't. Well, the new Channel 9 News obviously got it right this time, hopefully. Anyway, enough of that. This is what we're photocopying. It's something huge. It's a poster, a uh, advertising poster, and I folded it there because it I won't be able to get it through the dock feeder. Under the dock feeder, it's just in the way. So I'm just showing you a bit up close. I found this in a rubbish bin, in a domestic bin, even though this looks like a commercial product, obviously. And I'm just going to just play with the buttons. And I'm just going to push this picture under the photocopier. So I just, oh, it's so lit, lit up just then. I'm just going to put it like so. Oh, that's the um, the actuator. That's why it is. I'm pushing down. It's detecting. Uh, whatever, folks. I can't explain it. I'm not going to photocopy the whole thing, obviously. Yeah, that's come up looking uh, quite a treat. I didn't want this, um, but basically I, it's in the way of her head. Um, but we're going to use, we're going to maybe cut her off and just maybe take a section out of that and make it into a really nice piece. But she looks interesting. I do think the um, the colour isn't correct. It's, it's, it blends too much with that, so I'm just going to change colors from the background color should i say magenta just is too uh, too much blending in so just trying to decide yellow or teal or green maybe we go teal or maybe we'll go yellow what i call the happy color Yeah, you can see now there's more contrast in colour. That looks a lot nicer. Uh, I do not like it when I reverse it back because it becomes purple. I'm not a big fan of purple as in dark purple. So I'm just thinking I might change it again. I'm going with teal. I actually think maybe my intuition's telling me to maybe go with green. 
even though I keep thinking the green is going to be dirty looking uh, with the um, with, with the uh, hue and the um, red, especially the red. I think with the red, it'll look hug ugly. Actually, that, that looks better than I thought. Looks, I don't know if I like the yellow better, or um, that's the, the yellow and the green look much the same. The green looks a bit dirty looking, as I was saying. It looks a bit dirty. It doesn't look very nice. I do think maybe... Uh, I don't know, folks. I'm gonna make. I'm thinking teal, uh, as I was thinking before. But sometimes, yeah, I have to fucking. Uh, it's difficult trying to work out what color to use. Yeah, the teal actually looks much the same as the green. It actually looks more dirty, funnily enough. Uh, I do think the yellow looks the best. So that's teal. And that's green. And the yellow appears to have come up trumps, even though it's not going to look nice reversed. So I'm just trying to decide which one we're going to run with. We're going to run with the green because we're going to make it negative positive and it might turn out looking uh, better. This is shit. So we're just going to put these aside and we're going to utilise that. I actually think maybe I could improve on it. Um, just going to go back. No, we're not going to, going to keep the negative positive happening. Um... going to leave it like that. I'm going to enlarge it, the section, so we're just going to take this and put it aside. But yeah, an advertising uh, poster or bill. Um, we're going to just cut the girl's head off, just cut it off there unfortunately. We can't have much of the uh, lovely helmet um, unless we cut it there. I think we'll cut it there and we're going to stretch it on the horizontal for the most part. So I'm just wondering where we're going to. So it's really difficult trying to work out what to do, folks, to get the best result, to get something that's really creative and artistic. Yeah, that's come up looking uh, quite a treat, actually. I actually see we got a bit of that in the frame, but not much. Unfortunately, the teal is blending with the back, the background, or is that the teal, or... No, it's not. I don't know, folks, but it still it looks quite good. Um, I think we're still just going to leave that as a... Yeah. Can't do much about that. And that looks really nice, so... We can't get rid of writing all the time. It's not. This is, of course, not designed to be an art, an art resource. It's an advertisement, um, and being an advertisement, it's not got anything to do with art. Uh, so basically, I'm just improvising. So you've got to expect that with advertising, there's going to be always features, or not always, but often features that you don't want in your artwork. Uh, because they're advertising features that yeah that you don't want you don't want writing you prefer not to have writing or anything like that um, but basically yeah you can't always uh, get what you want out of this
but it gives me people like myself a challenge to push the boundaries of this kind of equipment and creative endeavor something different you know something yeah that you can't achieve through conventional art But this was in the bin, and I figured I'd fish it out. It was in a recycle bin, so it wasn't dirty or filthy this time, which is nice. Yeah, okay, well, that's come up looking uh, quite a treat. I think we can now call this demo quits.